Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 11th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to understand how we can delete or drop tables in SQL. Right, so the, the command that you have to use to drop tables uh, or to remove them from your database is the drop table command and uh, as the bullet in the presentation reads, the drop table command is used to remove a table and all its contents permanently from a database and you know you have to be careful while using this command because if you execute it once then the table gets removed and uh, this is providing you're not using the begin and tran uh, you know transaction control statements and you know we're going to talk about those later on but uh, you know you just have to be careful while using drop table you know don't just play with it and uh, the syntax of the drop table statement is really very simple. You just have the keywords drop and table and then you p put in the name of the table that you want to remove from your database and put in a semicolon and you execute the statement and it would get executed. And uh, there are a couple of ways of confirming whether the table that you uh, wanted to remove has been removed or not. So you know you you can uh, either execute the show tables command or you can describe your uh, table and uh, if the table exists then uh, you know you would get the definition of it in the results set but if it does not exist then you would get an error message right so now let's see how to remove tables in the mysql workbench so as you can see in my test database i've got two tables the emp underscore info table and the employee table and what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to remove the emp underscore info table using the drop table command so i'll type in drop and then uh, the keyword table and then I'll type in the name of the table that I want to remove which is emp underscore info I'll put in a semicolon at the end and press the control enter key combination and you would see that in the output section I get the message drop table emp underscore info and you see this green you know nice check mark which means that the, pro uh, the command has been processed successfully and now if I would uh, you know click on the refresh button uh, in the object browser section, I would see that the emp underscore info, uh, you know, table gets removed from the, you know, items that were displayed. And the other way of confirming whether the command uh, drop table was executed successfully or not is uh, obviously to execute the desc command and uh, emp underscore info. And I'll put in the semicolon and press the control enter key combination. You would see that in the output section, I do not get this green check mark. This time I get the red cross symbol. And uh, I also get an error message that the table EMP underscore info doesn't exist. Right. So that means that the table was successfully dropped. So anyway, that's all I wanted to discuss with you in this tutorial. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. In the next tutorial, we're going to discuss something interesting for sure. And uh, see you soon.